All right, guys, so I just got back from doing a job. It was a real quick and easy job. It probably took, I don't know, I want to say maybe an hour and a half or so um, by the time I got there and got back. So I knocked it out. It was pretty easy. But what I did do is I took some before and after pictures, and I just want to show you my process. You know, it's real quick how to, you know, create a nice little before and after graphic for social media or your website in a matter of, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Not, not a real-time commitment, but something that you can knock out real quick, you know, you can open a paragraph. You can also do this to make a story and whatever you need to do. But you're just going to go to your uploads and you're going to go to upload media. And then you're just going to find the the images that you kind of want to pair up, you know, the before and after. Try to line them up a little bit. Um, and you can do, you know, you can make videos with these as well if you choose. Let's see here. Go ahead and upload some of these, and then we want to drag this one out here. But then sometimes, sometimes I like to grab a frame. Oh my goodness, again. Sometimes I like to just go in and grab a frame. Let's see here. I normally do this from my uh, computer. It's a lot easier when you do it with a computer, but you can make it work, you know, in both, both methods. So maybe you want to put this kind of frame and then like, actually, I don't think we want that image. Let's, let's grab, actually, this one's really bad. All right, and then we'll just, what I like to do is I like to pretty much just duplicate this, drag it over here, maybe. Change the size a little bit, and I haven't played too much. I wish, I wish that it would let you add a filter, or not a filter, but a uh, a shadow. That would be much cooler. But let's see here. Maybe. Anyhow, we're gonna come in here, upload the after picture. You know, try to line it up pretty pretty good. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then sometimes it's not a bad idea to, you know, you might want a photo or tell you what, before I do that, let's go ahead and add a background. Let's see here. We'll go to background. You can go with the blue background. You know, you got, uh, and if you're going to add this to your website, it might even be a good idea to go with no background and just, you know, go with the transparent look. Um, and then obviously when you do go, to name this thing, you want to use like a keyword, right? So you want to go pressure washing, right? Or whatever your service area is. Um, just to add to your collection of keywords. Um, let's see here. And like I said, now that you're ready to download it, you can either keep it as a photo or you can kind of animate it and turn it into a video. So. I'll show you what I mean by that. It's very simple and easy. So now we come in like this, or you can make it come in like that. Okay, see that's pretty cool. And now you have a little video that you can use. And uh, let's go ahead and, you know, when we're ready, we can go ahead and download this. Um, let's see here, save as, and then you can go MP4 video, or if you just want to keep it as an image, then you can save it as a PNG or, or a JPEG, right? Now you just download that. Right, save video. And now we can go ahead and upload that to Instagram. We can upload it to Facebook. And then we can upload it to, you might be able to get away with uploading it to Google My Business. Now you may also wanna take it a step further and customize it even more by, let's go ahead and, you know, throw on a logo. Right, and you might say, well, the logo doesn't really stand out too much. You know, so you could go in and, really, you could just play around with it. You know, you can kind of come up with something that you think is cool. Doesn't really matter. Oops, change the background. 
you just got to find something that you think is cool, you know, and then just kind of roll with it. So you might go with something like this and maybe position it like right there. And then maybe you can make it like a darker color so that it stands out more. So let's just go in and... Right, now that, now the logo stands out a little bit more. Give the image a little bit more depth. Um, and then if you really want to, you could even go in and add, you know... Right, we'll go in and add this. And when I add text, you know, I like to make the text kind of pop out a little bit. I have kind of a style that I personally stick to. You know, everybody's got their own style. You might have your own your own style that's different, but you know, I kind of like to put a little bit of flair on on my ads. We'll go with that one. I think that'll be a good one. Okay, and then we'll go white color, and then effects. Oops. All, right. All right, so, you know, this is pretty much as simple as it is. And then let's say, you know, maybe I'll make this a template so that you guys can use it as well. But, you know, if you did want to change your logo, you would simply just come in here, you know, upload or, you know, delete, delete that. Oops, did it again. It's much easier. If you can do this from your computer, uh, you'll have a much easier time. You just go to Uploads, Upload Media, and then you would obviously just upload your logo. And then once you start using Fiverr a little bit, or um, Canva a little bit more, you can save your logo in here. And, you know, if you do need to change out your logo, then you can just go in and, you know, change it out like that. All right. So... I'm going to go ahead and share this. I'll let you guys use this post as well. And then I'll obviously leave a link to this video that you guys can watch as well. That'll kind of hopefully show you how you can make, you know, quick graphics very easily, very quickly. And then hopefully, you know, if I give you access to this, it'll allow you to kind of start playing. You know, instead of building from scratch, you can kind of start with something and, and kind of go from there. So 